All right, hello and welcome back to Skyrim. Um, I don't know why there's two scores of music going on at the same time. That's a little weird. But uh, yeah, last time uh, was pretty interesting. Uh, basically what happened was we're sort of starting a, a, a new thing. Well, not new, but just different. And, uh, you know, basically before what I would do was I would go look for artifacts. And we found a ton. And, you know, we've been steadily filling up uh, Legacy of the Dragonborn, the museum. And uh, basically at this point, I want to collect shouts. Because we have Thunderchild. And we could have so many different shouts, but I just... For some reason, we always adventure to some places that don't have a word wall. So we've been doing that. So uh, we got... Um, what? Hevnorak. Uh, so we got Hevnorak stuff. Uh, and uh, yeah. Then what happened was uh, we came back to the museum to put that stuff away. And basically, the guard, uh, his brother, was actually, like, some big, like, Hammerfell, like, looter thief, like, bandit leader. And, uh, so yeah, we, um, we had to go get all of her stuff back, because they stole literally everything from the museum, which was pretty wild. So we had to go track them down and get back. I know the dragon's shaking that booty. <laughs> oh, gosh. But anywho, um, let us... Uh, go back because I believe they set it all back up. We also did the intro mission to the Thieves Guild Although it was funny because I actually failed it the first time literally I was I was stealing uh, a ring right from a lockbox and, and Literally just in that one second a guard was like hey, what are you doing? It was like oh my gosh That was pretty funny And hey, look, how's it going? Um, oh, uh, there is something I was doing off camera and it was concerning um i went to because we have more loot installed which makes it so that you can't just make daedric armor and like ebony and stuff anywhere like you have to be in specific places and i tried the skyforge and i didn't notice anything new which is weird so just a little thing well i'll have to investigate that as well to see what's going on but anywho uh let's put have norax stuff in here and I believe we have... Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> um, the only thing I could think is that perhaps it's a weird thing with Ars Metallica, perhaps? Because that, that also changes things. Alright, so we get the Iron Claw and that. And Hevnorak Staff should be somewhere. There we go. Nice. I think Hevnorak Staff is like a lightning thing. And then we also got... Ooh, nice. There's the, uh, the Mace of Arrow Stone Singer. So we'll go check that out. And I believe we should have Hands of the Atronach as well. Let me check this out. Oh, now that, that is the mace I know and love from Warwind. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Hell, even getting hit with just like the, the friggin' shaft part of it would hurt like hell. Fantastic. Oh yeah, for some reason it won't you let you equip the item when you have it equipped, which is weird as hell. What do you mean I lack the required item? What do you mean I... Oh, right. That's not even the right thing, is it? There we go, that's better. Uh, anywho. Um, sweet. So that's good. It looks like everything's back to normal. Uh, let me just check in with, uh, our museum curator to see that everything's okay. Greetings. Oh yeah, I've dealt with the ghost taunting as the museum. Ah, yes. That was a bit of unsettling business now, wasn't it? Oh, yeah? I kept being awakened by strange voices in the museum and found that the pages of my books by my bed would be turning on their own. I feel like we already and decided to did call this the one. aid of... I took refuge at the Blue Palace in the meantime. Yeah, I think we already did Thank that. Thank you for looking into it. Uh, what's next? Very simple. Have a look around. All right, so he doesn't have anything else anything then. Anything of relevant consequence can be inspiring. Gotcha. All right, so tell me about uh, this quest. What can I do for you? Uh, made it back, I see. Ah, you're back as well. Arian did a wonderful job restoring the museum. You wouldn't know to look at it that it was ransacked a few days ago. I want to thank you for your understanding and forgiveness. And once again, I am very sorry for all the trouble this has caused. I am going to redouble my efforts at improving security here. Because if Jalal was drawn here, surely others will be. I found something amongst Jalal's personal effects, tucked away in Engelman's rest, which I would like you to have. 
It was our father, Hagram's sword. And with Jalal dead, it passes to me. And I would like you to have it. Uh, I would be honored. Thank you. Arian has already set a place for it, above the fire in the safe house. All right. Sweet. Farewell so that was basically now. the quest uh, where basically our place got ransacked and we had to uh, restore it and find all of our artifacts. What is this? The Sword of Evren? Oh, it does actually have an, uh, a thing on it. Check it out. Awesome. Okay, cool. Awesome. So yeah, um, he said it was above the fireplace in the in the safe house, I believe. We'll, we'll figure that out later. Anywho, um, last time we also did a major shift uh, in this character build. Well, not a major shift. It was something I was planning to do anyway. But one of the things I did was I actually made Conjuration Legendary so that I could get back all the perks. And then I reinvested them into One-Handed. So now we're actually starting to use uh, bound weapons and stuff like that. Um, I'll, I'll do the enchanting, I think, tomorrow. Um, just because I'm, I'm going to be like... It's going to be insane. It's going to be the potions, the enchanting armor. It's going to be insane. And we'll, like, dual enchants on every thing of armor. And You know, it's funny. I was looking at daggers, actually. Daggers might be a cool thing, like a sword and a dagger. Or, like, the conjured sword and a, and a real dagger would actually be kind of cool too. But for right now we're just doing uh, dual swords, which works. Hey, lost fleet. Oh, gotcha. Nice, nice. All right. So yeah, let's uh let's head over to um Hrothgar and ask him about another word wall. Hopefully one that requires um or has another uh dragon priest. Cuz that be excellent. Oh, crap, it's a dragon. Um we get a storm thrall going. Got a freaking drive by on me. All right. Uh, now I guess I'm gonna have to use a bow to begin, with, just because. Oh, okay. It's right up in there. All right. Actually, you know what? I could go. I could go dual blade here. Okay, let's do it. And uh, let's make sure we get, like, uh, marked for death or something. Alright, let's see here. Alright, well, I got him with some death. The lightning summon on a lightning dragon? Yeah, I guess so. Kind of want to get out of the way. I believe the wing strike is is the least effective or something. All right. No, I should uh, I should use some different shouts too. I think. I know these these new dragon designs are fantastic, aren't they? All right, let me see here. Um, oh, there's got to be some cool stuff in here we can do. Let's do like a, a good frost breath. Wait, I cannot... what? I'm actually surviving. Oh, I've run out of fatigue. Oh really? The dragon overhaul isn't for uh, isn't, isn't on uh, consoles. I guess it's got a pretty high gigabyte thing going on, I suppose. Got him. Nice. That worked out pretty well, actually. Thought I was gonna get owned immediately. Actually, it worked out pretty well. I couldn't find it. Yeah, it's uh, there's two of them that I'm using. I'm using uh, KS dragons and diverse dragons. All right, excellent. Always good to get some more dragon souls. How are we doing dragon soul wise? All right, one more and we can get a new perk. 
Oh wait, did I just get it though? Ah, okay, cool. So that means I can use Dragon Knowledge. Nice, and that should give us another perk. Fantastic. All right, so. Um, actually, one thing I wanted to do before I forget. I think I don't have Ebony Smithing unlocked. Yeah. Let me do that. There we go. So now I can do Glass, Ebony, and Stallrim. Daedric and Dragonbone. Um, I still can't make Orcish, which is fine. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. It's weird. Anywho, um, I can't make, I guess, Bone Mold? Or something? Odd. Anywho. Let's talk to Arangir, wherever he is. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, enchanting tomorrow because we're going to make some absolutely wild stuff. Hey. But yeah, it's been funny. Like, resetting conjuration, like, I, I gain conjuration skill all the time. In fact, one of the things that we discovered yesterday is while I'm using... Because I'm also doing the enchanted thing as well. So if I'm using... Got the wrong menu. If I'm using an enchanted, well, not enchanted. If I'm using a, wrong menu. Yeah, if I'm using a blade, just any blade, with with uh, the spell scribe, which is basically where I can, whenever I do a power attack, it casts a spell. It makes it so that not only would I gain whatever from the actual weapon itself when I hit, I also gain enchanting because it's a spell scribe. And I also gain whatever school of magic them stored spells from. But I'm using conjured blades at the same time. So in this case, whenever I strike something, I'm getting enchanting, conjuration, restoration, and one hand. It's crazy. There you are. Sky, guard you. Alright, let's see here. Have you located any words of power? We have felt a whisper of a word. Give me your map, and I will show you where its echo can be found. All right. I get ruins. Check that out. It's it's it is pretty insane, isn't it? It is pretty insane. Oh, let me uh. Yeah, I mean, if I was to balance it out a little bit, like personally. I feel like you probably shouldn't get the spell experience for if you're entwining a spell to something. I feel like it's a little crazy. Like, it's cool to have it as a secondary effect attached to a weapon, but yeah, it is kind of weird that, like, the fact that I had, um, like, restoration stuff infused in my blades makes my restoration increase. But I guess it would probably never increase otherwise, I, I suppose. So that's one way to look at it as well. All right, Highgate Ruins, let's go. It is pretty wild though that I could make four skills basically level up at the same time though. Oh shoot, I'm about to um, turn into a werewolf. That's not a bad thing. Oh yeah, one thing I've noticed uh, when being a werewolf is for some reason your thralls unsummon, which is kind of weird. Don't know why that is, but if you have normal summons, they still survive, oddly enough. Oops, spiders. Venom. That's a big spider. There we go. Yes, yeah, so I level up enchant. Oh, well, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, so it, yeah, it, it, that's exactly what happens. Where'd he go? I kind of went red for a second and see it. But yeah, the enchanting, it actually counts. Um, 
like when you do the spell scrub, whenever you do that that combo power attack, that raises your enchant skill. So that's a cool way to kind of raise your enchant skill, other than just making enchanted stuff over and over and over again. I am a fan of that, because sometimes, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like my crafting, but I find that the enchanting menuing, especially if you have a lot of enchanting mods installed, make it really tough to like, I'm gonna make like 75 enchanted rings. Well, you better go through all those menus then. <laughs> So I do like that there's another way to improve enchanting this, which is basically either using staves or by infusing your weapons with magic through spell scribing. So that's pretty cool. Oh, I think there's a quest with this one, isn't it? Yeah, the, the, the fact that I'm using the, the bound blades is just crazy with this. Alright, um, I'm a, you know what? Yeah, I'm a big fan of the, of the Storm Thrall. I think it works out pretty well. But yeah, we have a spell uh, entwined uh, with our weapons right now that makes it so that we basically gain back a percentage of the damage we do. No sign. Which is pretty cool. Oh, this lady's cool. I remember her. Huh? Uh, who are you? I'm Anska. Are you here to help? Help with what? I've finally located Vulcan's crypt. The scroll I'm looking for just has to be here. Maybe you could help find it. I just know it's in here. Um, what scroll? It's probably meaningless to you, but according to family legend, it links our bloodline back to Iskramor himself. Uh, Vokun. Some old priest buried here long ago. Sweet, I've been so we'll searching be for dragon this priest. tomb for a few years now. All right, uh, what kind of help do you need? If Vokun is as powerful as I think, I may need a little help um, dealing with him. Alright, what's in it for me? You can have anything, except the scroll, of course. Uh, I'll help. Great. With the two of us, this should be easy. Alright. Sweet. Alright, let's get some yes? blades going. Oh yeah, oh oh gosh, there's our there's our conjuration going right away here. Nice. Alright, what do we have going on? Um, excuse me? Arch for death, there we go. Actually surviving. Really? You refused to give it to her in the end, and, and it was useless. Weird. Doing some damage. Also, I can't believe we survived against a Draugr Death Lord. I guess we have been increasing our damage, so that'll do it. Oh yeah, you know what? Um. God, I actually want to. Oh, hey, it's a third era glass sword. Sweet. Um, I did actually want to increase my FOV because I find that these blades are very, very large. <laughs> uh, let me see here. FOV 90? Is that good? I think that's a little bit better. Like a standard for most people, so we'll give that a shot and see how that works. Did it actually trace her bloodline to Ysgrimor, or was it just like a, sh a scrap of paper that really didn't do much? Our Traveler's 8? Maybe that's one we're missing. Let's see here. Traveler's... It is a new one. Nice. Means we're just missing a, still a ton. Ah. Uh, Really? It does trace it back. Okay, go awesome. Cool. Yeah, I never actually took a look. We got you. So the FOV will reset. It's just that these blades were so friggin' huge, they were taking up most of the screen, so I wanted to do something about it. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
snow bear shield. I'll take it, sure. All right. But yeah, so um, I think, yeah, tomorrow we'll do the enchanting, but I might be a little bit later. So we'll have to see. Um, I'll try for five or 5.30, um, but it, it might end up that I'm caught up with stuff on Saturday and uh, be there at six. Oh yeah? Really? Really? So in order to make the Daedric stuff, you need to have Daedric smithing be at, be there at around 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. And you have need to have found the seven black books. Holy crap. Wow, they're, they're making it really tough to be able to do that. I mean, luckily we have looted a Daedric dagger. I don't think we've found a Daedric sword yet. We have found a Daedric crossbow, so that's pretty cool. Um, there's a trap somewhere. Or those are just holes in the wall, maybe? What are these for? Never. Oh yeah, I do this weird thing occasionally where like I can get stuck like attacking forward. It's oh gosh. Um, I'm realizing just now how bad this is. Um, we do have some poisons. Oh, wait, poisons don't work on Draugr. Darn it. Oh. Yeah, I need a better way to, uh, to heal and stuff like that. Oh, gosh. One of my swords ran out. Oh, gosh. So is that more loot that's doing it? That's making the Daedric stuff really difficult to, uh, to, to do? There we go. Iron. Is that mad? Yep. I mean, that's cool. It means that it incentivizes, because that's so freaking difficult. Really, it incentivizes you finding it out in the wild instead, which is cool. It's it's mu much more like it is in Morrowind. But like, you know, it's difficult when like I'm trying to do the Boethia armor, right? And that apparently needs Daedric smithing, and there's no other way to get it other than crafting it. <clears throat> That's okay though. We did make some cool armor yesterday. Uh, we made what is it called? Look at all these ultimate and vigorous things. Yeah, we did make... Ah, oh, what the hell was it? Um, I think we, it's called Wild Hunt Armor. Uh, and if you're familiar with the design, it looks like the Bosmer armor uh, that you see in, in certain immersive armors and, and armor mods. And it makes it so that um, it's like Dragon Bone level, which is pretty excellent. So, yeah, we'll basically have Dragon Bone style, like witch hunter wild hunt type armor which looks really awesome huh? and we'll make sure we have marked for death ready to go no one even to pop out of there I feel like they would want to this looks like some sort of lever cousin We'll have to figure out the correct order to flip them. Okay. Sort of lever puzzle. Okay, so each of these has some form of animal on it. Ah, here we go. Okay, so eagle. Whale. Fox, snake. There we go, nice. Look 
Quick serve health, sure. And those. Good against these guys. Oh. Nice. Got him. Like using Mark for Death. We do have to find more some. Mark for Death shouts. I'm hoping we can find some. Wooden Staff, Winterhold, Battle Mage Shield. Cool. Alright, I'll take it. Oh, I got a critical strike there. That was fantastic. Weird. For some reason, I can't shout right now. Oh, I got him! Beautiful. Whoa, he totally bounced up against the wall there. Um. Ah, uh, black ice. Ooh, jump over that. Wow. Critical strike on that guy. Oh, I thought I was going to dodge them all. Oh, really? For the ritual armor, you need dragon smithing. Is there a... S well, I have dragon smithing, so I should actually be able to craft it. Hmm. Is someone there? I feel like something odd's going on there. Oh, gosh. I think he has a sword, but got all funny there. Hot blood. <laughs> yeah, I think there's some weird stuff going on with that, right? Because I think maybe I have to be in a specific location or... I should take a look at the book again, wherever it is. Let's take a look at this hot blood. Ooh! Oh man, that's a good looking sword. Be careful. Damn. It's a nice looking sword. Now let's save. Gem looks suspicious to me. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's do some ruins excavating here. Ooh, archaeological skills pretty close. I think uh, next level I can get increased loot from dwarves, I believe. Well, not actual dwarves, of course. close there we go <laughs> steel armor well I guess we're gonna take it aren't we <laughs> well that is the wrong weapon whoops oh oops um, the, I, I, I accidentally hit the, uh, the soul gem there. A lich lord.
let's continue. I wonder if we're gonna claw from this. Money. These wall carvings are ancient. We must be getting close. Watch out here. Like a lot of nasty stuff on the floor. Oh, I think it's one of these. Huh? That's got a critical strike. Oh! Oh my gosh! Wow! We totally owned that guy. Did you hear something? All right, let me see here. <laughs> I got a little bit more health. Oh gosh, I died. I was not paying attention to that. Oh, you know what? I think that lady's doing an AoE spell. Yeah, I think that lady's doing an AoE spell, and that's actually really not good for us. Gem looks suspicious to me. Take it. Also, using frost against Draugr is like the worst possible thing you could choose to do. I had some better stuff on him this time around. Hopefully I can get some keystones this time. There we go. Keystones allow me to actually, like, craft the thing itself. Stuff. For a second I thought you had a cool hat on. Let's see here. Yes. That is not the right one. We're getting used to that. Oh gosh, I just realized. We must be getting close. Right. I probably won't do that, but so what I was thinking is I could make armor to increase my alchemy to make better enchants to increase my alchemy even more. There's there's actually like this crazy cycle that you can do that basically you, you use your enchantments to make better potions to use potions to make better enchants to make better potions it gets crazy after a while we'll probably only do that once all right so we move this oh is it dead already i feel like i'm doing like some extra damage that guy how's it going m -Farm? good to see it all right now we have to be careful here <laughs> okay, so we can't attack that thing like that. Um, that thing is just crazy then. Good to know. Huh. Looks suspicious to me. <laughs> so, so that guy's a one-shot. Interesting. Yeah, we also balanced out the, uh, the damage. Uh, like, I think we do half damage, and enemies do... 3.75 more damage. So it makes things difficult, but not insane. There are certain enemies that we'll have to like pull the stops for, but otherwise it should be fine. Critical strikes on these guys, too, is really nice. Alright, but yeah, we're going after some word walls. Because I want to gather some more words for, uh, for Thunderchild. Good 
there. Alright, and I think, yeah, we're gonna have to use a bow for this next part. Gosh. Someone stepped on something over there. I do kind of miss those arrow camera shots, though. Good stuff. So I think that in combination with the fact that she was using that nasty spell. Alright. These overlords. I, I took down an overlord before. This one's just insane. that object. Huh? Huh. <laughs> it's highlighting the iron helmet for some reason. Sure, that's actually not what I was looking for, but thank you. I assumed he had a weapon, but... I'm gonna do a save after that, because that was uh that was a nasty guy there. Alright, here's his throne room. No, I don't think you can actually. I mean I could give it a shot. I know I can't with uh which uh hunter spells which work on the same thing, but yeah, let me see. Um Yeah, it, it already considers it to be an enchanted weapon. Now, I'm not sure if, like, hmm. where did the green ghost wolf? That's a that's a special perk that I have. Yeah, yeah. Um, and how's it going, Stormy's in? But yeah, it's a special perk that I have. Uh, we're using uh, ordinator perk package, and uh, I think th this is the archery tree, by the way. Like, just look how ridiculous it is. Uh, but yeah, one of these top tier things is uh, when fighting only one enemy, hitting the target with a bow or crossbow manifests a spirit wolf for 30 seconds. So, pretty cool stuff. It means that if you're one on one, um, that you have a distraction, which is really crazy. Um, I, 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 I mod a little bit, yeah. I haven't made any mods for Skyrim specifically. Uh, but I've done stuff with uh, New Vegas and Morrowind and Oblivion. Um, but yeah, I have, I have a little bit of modding experience, wow. making mods, but yeah, pretty cool stuff once you get used to the interface. Oh gosh, you just jumped out right away, but yeah, I think one of the things with, uh, the whole elemental fury and enchanting though, gosh, it still screamed even though I was in my menu, um, but if we go to conjuration, it might be that early on it counts as a normal weapon, that when I start adding these, like, it's now a mystic weapon, it's now lasting longer, it now banishes, like, it might be that those count as enchantments. I'm not sure, though. So maybe base level conjure weapons work, but once you start adding those extra That's effects, Oakley, it doesn't. Although I have road. no idea. Alright, let me uh, let me save, because this could be nasty. Be just past it. it might actually be a terrible idea to be doing this. Oh, whoops, of course. I... <laughs> actually seems to be working. I guess right, because I absorb spells decently. This is actually working. Although I'm going to run out of stamina soon, which is the problem. Oh, he ran away. Ah, 
got him. Awesome. Alright, we got a staff of fireballs. Conjuration, illusion, and alteration spells are 20% less to cast. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean, that's really nice considering what we do. It's heavy armor, though, which is weird. It's cloak. Almost be in the next room. Nice. Oh, uh, it looks like there is a puzzle. Or maybe there isn't. Just a whole bunch of snakes. Ah, uh, here's the word wall. Alright, what do we have in here? Barbarian Helm. Black Soul Gem. Filled with the Grand Soul already. Carter Spiders 8. Magicka Damage, sure. I feel like we have most of the enchantments at this point. Now granted, that's tough to say because I don't actually huh? know how many enchants there are. Alright, let's see what we got here. Storm Call's really nice. Storm Call is an absolutely great shout. Nice. Awesome. I feel like we could probably get another one. Let's do it. Might as well. Oh, oh yeah, and that's the scroll, right? Huh? I retrieved the scroll. I cannot thank you enough for all of the help. Uh, here's the scroll. And here's a little something for helping me out. Alright. Tome of Conjure Flaming- <gasps> Conjure Flaming Familiar?! No way! That was one I was, like, hoping to get, like, really, like... At the- at the college and stuff. The Flaming Familiar is awesome. It's basically like an explosive minion. Yeah, someone's a, a flaming familiar, which uh, will charge into battle and explode. I mean, this will actually be just a fantastic way to uh, to raise my conjuration. Let me let me let me find it because holy crap! Um, under what was it called? Fire dragon. I haven't actually done any of those. I should try summoning a dragon at some point and see if it works out. Hmm. That was Conjure Flaming Familiar, was it not? Conjure Familiar. Check again. Your fire dragon. Knock. Huh, I don't. It is. Oh, yeah, I forgot I got the Dwemer and Amunculi spell. That's pretty cool. Oh, there we go. Flaming Familiar. Here we go. Yeah, I could basically just keep summoning these guys and have them explode. That'd be nice. Ultimate healing. Hell, that's one good way to raise a conjuration, just continually summon some dudes that explode. <laughs> that's what that's what they always want. Even, even when they don't want food, they want food. They just don't know it yet. We're gonna... Oh, is there anything special we can, like, do with these, or...? Doesn't look like it. Alright, so we've got another Dragon Priest mask. That's excellent. Is there a secret passage? Gosh, really up here? Okay, cool. Gosh, gotta love how most Nordic ruins, well, I think all of them, don't they? Have like a secret way to get back to the beginning. Pretty excellent. 
All right, let's save. And um, I'm gonna stop by the museum just for a second and drop these things off that we have. Make a relic or two or something. Oh, there's enemies nearby. All right, let's see. Where is the enemy? Yeah, I could see that being amazing. You good? I don't know what was after us, but apparently something was. Weird. How many displays do I have now? Upwards, I'd say, of 430. Alright, let's see here. We've got... What's the dude's name? Uh... Vokun. Vokun? We didn't actually get a claw this time. I don't think we got any other unique things when we were out there. Just the priest mask, but that's good enough for me. Uh, oh yeah, we did get that. I think hot blood's a normal thing. Alright. Let me check the, uh, the safe room for a second here. Safe house. Let's see if we can't craft any more of those crazy displays. I don't even know where they end up, to be honest. Like, I, I'm, I'm crafting these wild things using uh, these Nordic fragments and stuff that we're finding, but I don't know where they're being displayed at. That'll look cool, though. Let's see here. Oh yeah, I think actually, didn't he say that this sword was above the fireplace? Yeah, there we go. Nice. Awesome. Funny that that's not actually on display or anything like that. Let's grab these and see what we can make here. Ooh, it doesn't look like I can make anything! Um, huh. Odd. I guess we made all the Nordic stuff, we just have enough. Odd. Huh, alright. It's a shame, we have friggin' so many of the Nordic things. I guess we're gonna have to go after Falmer and Dwemer then, they're the only other sort of cultural fragments that we can get. We're gonna look at all the Nordic stuff we have. It's crazy. And thank you for the fall, uh, life, uh, Link for Life 79. Thank you, appreciate the fall. Alright, so let's continue on here. Get another, uh, dragon shout going. And then maybe what we'll do is we'll, uh, we can actually do the, uh, meditation and see how many new shouts we get from that. Alright, so let's take a look here. Because yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's like, basically like a leech health version of a shout that we can get at some point. Actually, no, I think that's a vanilla one from Dawnguard. I think that can be used for something cool. But yeah, if you ever want to take a look at the mods that I use, I think it even works off-stream. Uh, but just use uh, exclamation mark mods and type that in chat and you should get a whole list of mods. Uh, it's in the bottom of the description and uh, it also gives you a Google link. Um, which is not just my Skyrim Special Edition mod list, it's every other mod list I've ever done. Um, well, at least updated to current day. So, pretty cool stuff. I think I want to... All of them are pretty, like, it, and it's funny, because I've done each of those games, like, that are modded, like, probably three times at this point, or more. And so it's pretty refined at this point. Most of those mod lists are, are solid and won't cause many problems at all. Let's see here. I have to find Arn gear. I tell you what. It, I'd absolutely friggin' kill for a detect NPC spell. Imagine you cast a spell... You put, like, a search bar in, and then friggin' you find whoever you need. I would love that. There you are. Wind. Got you. Alright. Um... Have you located any words of power? We have felt the whisper of 
the world. Give me your map and I will show you where its echo can be found. All right. Iron bind bearer. And focus. I think we'll gain an archaeology perk this time around if there's an, there usually every single barrow and most places that aren't just bandit layers have some form of archaeological dig site. Alright, so let's save. And where are we headed? Ah. Ironbind Barrow. One of the like there's this whole like cliff face along here and there's a few caves it might be this one one of these is like an amazing dungeon you also at some point have to do um that lighthouse quest so we can get a restora restoration spells to be even more effective How can you just sit here and wait? We should be in there. We must gather our strength who knows what's inside Treasure, that's what. Get off your scaly rump and let's go. Hush, Salma. We aren't alone. All right. Ugh, we should be inside loading up on treasure. Worry Scales here thinks we should wait, though. Don't get any ideas either. We were here first. Uh, what do you expect to find inside? I don't know about you, but I'm going in there. Let's do that one. Not without us, you aren't. I'm sure there's enough for everyone, after all. Come on, Beamja. We're going. <laughs> oh, the, well, they're ready. All right, let's you do it. You can't shake us off that easily. Let's see what's here. Well, they're ready to go. Oh, really? My archaeology... Oh, go gotcha. So, I can only craft a certain amount of them, though, is what you're... Gotcha. So there could be more items, but my archaeological skill is not. Gotcha. Cool. Interesting. Ah. Oops, sorry. Silver ore. Gosh, that thing just friggin' fell out of the air. What are you doing? Wow. I guess. Own those dudes. Gonna give me much of a chance to loot the place, are you? Oh my gosh, are those just all spider eggs? Holy crap, spider eggs. There's the big guy. Enchanting increased to 99. Well, for a second I thought it was dead, like it was gonna bite my head off or something. We lived though, and leveled. All right. Um, I feel like I probably need more stamina because I am running out of it. All right, so I believe I can go up one more level of conjuration here, and yeah, there we go. Now we can uh, take down magic and stamina regen. No way, we can get Hollow Binding. Nice, reducing magical resistance on our targets. And then Dark Whispers is the big one. Also, I'm loving how fast we're leveling up Conjuration. It's, it's absolutely insane right now. But I guess, I don't, I took it for granted because I leveled it up so fast, but I use Conjuration all the time. Literally everything I do is Conjuration. See if there isn't any special well, things. There must be a way through. Look around. All right, what do we got? Oh, well, there's a chest. Ah, here we go. That's done it. Let's get in there. Just checking out the place. What do we got? Oh, hi there. 
Ancient armored death guarding. Oh, that wasn't the correct spell. Time to <laughs> Yo, Mara's lamb doing work too. Very nice. Or lamb of Mara. I think it woke up. Skeletons have a tendency of doing that oddly. So that blinding white light that just came out of there is actually part of my uh, enchanting skill. It's basically using a spell with my blade which allows me to basically absorb health based on the damage I do. Go. Some of that witch hunter healing. Your spear goat hide. Switch to death's mark. Skeever. Some treasure. Ooh, I was able to reach just enough. Nice. Also, did she just pick up a shield? Because I feel like she didn't have that before. I mean, it's good. You, you, got, you should get a shield. Oh no! My, my thing just ran out! Whoops! Heavy shield. Hmm, interesting. Also captured a soul there. It's more boiled chitin. On. So I'm not sure if it is, but I believe more loot makes it so that like s shields in general are set to like go on that table or whatever, and it just makes it totally random whatever's there, which is really really cool. Um, well, within reason, of course. Like, we could probably only find a Daedric Shield in one entire place in the game. So that won't be random loot. Oh, you guys just opened it. Gosh, she got the Death Shield too. That's fine. Like Gorge. Anything else? Oh, here's a dig site. I think this is a archaeological level up. Nice! Alright, let's take a look. Uh, I think I have to go to this menu. Um, there's two ways to do this. You can either go through the MCM menu, uh, the mod configuration menu, or uh, when you build the Explorer's Guild, uh, you basically get a perk window. Alright, so let's see here. So I got one point. Uh, I think I'm going to do Salvager, so automatons drop increased loot and the possibility of fragments. Yeah. Now, see how that hasn't gone away? Don't let that fool you. You have you don't have unlimited things. So just just be aware of that. Alright, that's awesome. So the next time we're in a dwarven place, we should get better loot from those guys. I feel like this is a trap. Aha. Also, it's not that it could have been enchant. I wouldn't want it anyway. <laughs> All right, let's uh, get our swords back. Let's just get the treasure here and go. All right. All right, we got some some skeletons. Ooh, 
Ooh, restoration increased to 90. Um, who the hell is that? Um. Oh my gosh, okay. Um. Hmm. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Shit. I was not expecting that. He was, he was like a giant or something. What the hell was that? It is funny, I, I need to get used to saving a little bit more than I'm used to, because uh, I'm like right in the middle of combat. Actually, you know what, I noticed my summon isn't here. Like it should be, but it isn't. Also, I think I want to use an Ice Atronach. Not that they're like particularly good against Draugr. We must gather our strength. Maybe I should use a flame inside. one. The Treasure, elemental potency thing going. Get off your scaly rump and let's go. Hush, Salma. We aren't alone. All right, let's talk. Uh, we should be inside, loading up on treasure. All right. Worry scales here. Not about without... you, but I'm going Come in on, there. Beamja. We're going. All right, excellent. Let me just make sure my Atronach is summoned. I think I will go fire. Actually, get the elemental preference. Did you hear something? Oh, there you are. We got a kind creature, sweet. That one just disappeared entirely. Spider eggs. We are really kicking it though, like, we'll be fine. Really didn't have too much of an issue up until that point. I mean, we do have three other people here. I think I have a special thing where if I, like, if I do like a charge attack on, on one of these guys, it like does like a certain amount of uh, damage up or something. Alright, level up. Get more stams. You could go for more health as well. I'm rushing. I'm going in. This is it. I'm like rushing straight ahead of him. Oh, that, that poor Draugr. Oh gosh, the Death Lord. Okay, back up. Gotta make sure. All right, yeah, get distracted. Let me try it. Sideways power attack. Gosh, he has a lot of health. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Oh, I'm seeing my storm thralls. Oh, Phoenix Ninjato. Alright, oh, let's continue. Great Rider's Blade. Worth a decent amount, I'll take it. Different loot this time around. Well, let's see. No skeever there that time. All right, what else we have? Weird, I'm still seeing my storm calls. Uh, 
some reason. Okay, well, you're dead. Good. Oh, nice. Strike. Also, where are these other guys at? I'm totally just going ham. I think I left them behind at the door that they were like, Oh, how do we open this door? Did I not actually spend my perk point? Oh crap. Yeah, let me, uh, I, I don't think I actually spent my perk point. Whoops, let's get that, uh, void burn going. Whoop, up, uh, that, nope. This one. Yes. Do. I think I'm doing like some weird power attack on the side where I like stagger people or something. I think that's it. So I didn't even notice that there's this thing. Oh. Huh. Cool. So that opens up a little thing there. Get our Nordic excavation going. I should probably grab them though, shouldn't I? <laughs> Let me head back quickly and make sure they're not like stuck somewhere. Nice. Ration. And salvager. But yeah, there's some interesting stuff we can do next time. We could get, like, Tamer's Hand and make make it so that we can tame a Charis, uh, which would be awesome. Um... We could, we could have a power that allows us to move unabated amongst undead, which would be crazy. I don't think I'd ever use that, because that would be kind of wild. Um, and then this one makes it so that I can uh, use a greater soul gem to rebuild a fallen automaton as a follower. Um, there's also, like, sell prices are increased, and more gold, and increased carry capacity. Oh, there's some cool stuff. Yeah, let me get these guys. Use my uh, long stride to get there a little faster. Hello, you guys. Though they're flat out gone. <laughs> um. Hello. <laughs> um. See if we can't do a little detect life in here. Oh, wait. Um This is no time for idle talk. Oh gosh, are you like well, you're like, oh gotcha, you're searching for stuff. Pretty good job. This place is sure to make us rich. Alright, let me That's done it. Let's get in there. That is funny. So they were stuck trying to look for the thing that I had already opened. Good job, everybody. Good job. Nobody wants to fall into the pit? Oh, you do. Good job, buddy. Make sure I get my swords. But yeah, so what I'm thinking is tomorrow we'll do a bit of enchanting. And basically have a whole enchanted set of armor with dual enchants on them. Uh, as well as, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a dagger or a sword. Because I was looking, right? And I don't think there's anything specifically that says you only have to have a sword or only can have a dagger. But like, there's some really cool stuff. Like right now, with our sword as it is, we decrease the target's attack damage. Um, we can, what is it? Oh, that's... Yeah, reduce the target's attack damage. Um, increase damage your power attacks with swords. Uh, forward's power attacks cause them to bleed. And sideways power attacks uh, target uh, sends them backwards uh, by six feet. So, there's that. But then there's also the friggin' dagger stuff, which looks awesome. Yeah, it's safe too. 
Unblock attacks with daggers deal an additional 1 point of bleed damage per second for 30 seconds to living targets this effect stacks. So some pretty wild damage over time with bleeding. Uh, attacks with daggers deal 25% more damage if you rapidly hit the target 3 or more times, and of course we'll be doing sort of that crazy rapid fire dual wielding, so that's going to happen all the time. Uh, forward power attacks with the dagger impale the target, dealing double uh, bite mark damage. Uh, whether or not this attack is blocked, so it always does some sort of lingering bleed damage. It's crazy. Sideways power attacks with dagger inflict wounds, draining 100 points of magic and stamina. So yeah, what is this into dust? Repeating a standing power attack with a sword against uh, the target, do escalating damage if no more than 3 seconds pass between... What? Repeated standing power attacks with a sword against the target does escalate. So if you just stand there and just keep doing a power attack, if no more than three pack seconds pass between each, the effect stacks up to three times, dealing 15% more damage. Reaching four stacks knocks the target off their feet. Oh my gosh, what? So if we just stand there absolutely just hacking at a guy, they'll get knocked down. Well, that's crazy. <laughs> That's, that's just insane. See, so yeah, I'm looking forward to like, maybe getting some daggers in there too. So we might do like one dagger, one bound uh, sword. Or maybe we'll do one bound sword, one bound dagger. Actually, is bound dagger a uh, like a vanilla spell? I have no idea. All right, so we saved, so we should be good. Now, I think we kind of have to focus on this guy. Poor job. Okay, it's time to use bows. <laughs> Actually, no, I want to try to use a flaming familiar here to like thin out the crowd. We'll go get him. Don't just stand there. Did you hear something? So we're going to use a bow. <laughs> oh, yep, he just snuck up behind me and totally just went for it. Wow, how does... That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay, so I think we're going to need better summons here. So let's get... Um, I'll get two Flame Atri... Oh, you know what? You know what? If we want the best summon here, we need two Dramore Lords. Alright, one that'll last a little bit longer, one that'll be just fine there. Be all right. Bound dagger was added to Dragonborn. Okay, cool. So we could we could use either. I'm not sure which would be more effective for us because I feel like they both be the same anyway. So this warlord is no pushover. So let me back up and not be in the direct, you know, friggin' way. Well, he dropped whatever weapon he was wielding. Even against your more lords and, and friggin' my guy over here, he's actually like holding his own. That is not a normal thing. Oh, well, I got the triple strike knockdown. There we go. Holy cow. Oh, right. Okay, gotcha. Black souls. Reanimate corpse, reanimate a powerful undead body to fight for you. And more of those glacial shields. Now what what weapon was he using? Cause for real though, that unless he's just that powerful, that might have actually been like an incredibly good axe. Well I'm not sure. Soul gem. 
do a little bit of a locate object here and see if I can't find whatever he was wielding. Which is such a useful spell, especially in these dark caves where you can barely see anything. Oh. Ah, it was an ebony war axe. That would do it. That would absolutely do it. We have card shadows. Ooh, Traveler's King. Nice. Circlet of Victory. Uh, what is this? Living targets get a stacking curse damage. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, a mantle of the silver hand. We actually made one of those yesterday. Yes. And a heavy spiked body shield. And a steel battle axe of fiery souls. Oh, that's a unique thing. Well, let's see what thing we get here. Spirit become a theory. Nice. Learn it. Nice. Awesome. Um, now isn't there like a little quest here that's supposed to be like Beamjaw only brought us here to basically kill us? Or something. Fool. I should thank you. I knew the girl wouldn't be strong enough to help me kill Gathric alone. There's just one more thing I need from you. To fully absorb Gathric's power, I require a blood sacrifice. Oh, did she die? Your blood should be good enough. This will go easier for us both if you don't bother fighting back. Never should have come. Oh gosh, you chose a bad time to attack somebody with full summons and everything. Wow, nice! And I captured his soul almost instantly there. Letter to Beamjaw, Ring of Conquest. Nice. Ring of Destruction. Yeah, what what actually happened to the chick? Where'd she go? Did she die somewhere back here? And where, where's Salma at? Hello? <laughs> I kind of remember her, like, coming down here at one point. Oh, there you are. Got stuck on a door that well, it saved you some time. Father never trusted Beam. I always thought he was just being overprotective. All right. Uh, what will you do now? I don't know. Beamja has looked after me since I was knee high to him. I need to rest, and then I think I'm going back to High Rock. Go on without me. I think I need to be alone for a while. All right. So Beamja was only after the power here, really. That's funny. They got stuck on two separate occasions, though. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, this uh, Battle Axe of Fiery Souls. Take a look at it. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> what does this thing do? If the target dies within five seconds, fills a soul gem. And then burns the target for eight points. Okay. Cool. So it's a little bit of... It's soul trapping and, and fire damage. Gotcha. Nice. Alright. So I think we are good to go. Let's meditate and see what new shouts we have. It's great. That's a large spiral staircase. You ever get that thing where you're going up a spiral staircase in a video game and like you keep turning even though like you're totally at the top? Uh, what makes you dizzy like that? Alright, excellent. If there's anything else up here. Alright, yeah, let's let's head back to High Hrothgar then. Save. And let's see if we can unlock some new shouts. Now, I believe it's staged, I believe. So basically what happens is um, you can see here that we actually have a power called Heinz Favor. Gosh, where is it? <laughs> um, 
We have Wave Peace? No, that's not it. We kind of, oh, Champion of Kind, there we go. If <laughs> Johnny Fly Seed, how's it going? But here we go. So basically, I think what it is is every time you reach like, I don't know, like 10 percentage points or something for the Champion of Kind, you get a uh, the chance to basically meditate again. You can't meditate every single time you get a shout. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's go. I want to see what new shouts we learn here. Now, I believe I counted, and I think it's six seconds. Just in case you're, like, not sure how the minigame works. It's it's this, it's this the weirdest thing about this. But uh, basically what you have to do is you have to, like, sort of gauge when your stamina is going to be at 20%. Um, so it, it can be quite difficult to do it first. Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead here. And let's see here. And hey Andy, um, well today, um, like I'm about to end the stream because it's a shorter Friday stream, but tomorrow we will do the Thieves Guild. Um, after I enchant my gear with some updated dual enchants and all kinds of, it'll be insane. We'll be like absorbing health and stamina on area and like all kinds of cool stuff. Alright. Oh, it doesn't seem to be working. Second. Hmm. Um. Ah. Oh. It doesn't seem to be working. I do have the, uh, the Room of Mod in Skyrim, so yeah, we'll eventually do that as well. I think we'll probably do that after the Thieves Guild, I think. I kind of like to do modded quest lines, then, um, unmodded stuff. Sort of in between. How do modded Skyrim graphics compare with Oblivion's? Um, they're better, yeah, Skyrim's, Skyrim's graphics, like, you can mod Oblivion to look really good, and even in the modern, uh, like, you know, best EMBs, all that kind of stuff, um, it's, it's tough. It, it's real tough. There's, people have been, I think, working longer on Skyrim modding than they have Oblivion modding, so it's just one of those things. Alright, well, I can't seem to get that to work, unfortunately. Um, I guess one thing I could try is there are certain trials I can do. And maybe doing one of those trials will help. Because I haven't done one recently. So let me try this. We'll go to the bottom of High Hrothgar. Which... There should be a shrine to carry Kine's fire. And I have to get up to the top within a certain amount of time or else it goes out. Alright, so let's see here. And luckily, of course, we could use Longstride. Oh yeah? Gotcha. Um, you know, we're just gonna go. Fine. So, activate Kind's fire. There we go. Run! <laughs> Alright, so this should keep us going for a little while. Wolverine Sprint will help us as well. The script processor is overloaded. Interesting. I didn't even know that was a thing. So I'm hoping that the combination of these two will actually do what we need here. Now the only problem, right, is that I'm technically moving slower right now. Because when I get in combat, I, I go from s six times to three times or something like that. Still, this is working out pretty well. <gasps> then, of course, you can also sprint, so that's not an issue.
the board game streams. Um, I think we have a lot of it set up, actually. We just have to actually like pick a game to play and pick a time. I think things are stable enough between our schedules that we can get some of the work. But, you know, occasionally schedules change and whatnot, and it's tough to get a bunch of people together, but I think we can actually get away with it now. Yeah, we were doing a, we were planning on doing a tabletop stream a while back, me, Saber, and uh, whoever else we could get on stream uh, regular. So we'll, we'll see how that all works out. Sprint again. Yeah, I think everything's like, I think I have everything set up in OBS, so like, if we decided we had it and everybody could meet at, at a time, we could actually go ahead and get that started. But we also need a game itself, and sometimes planning that can be tough too. But yeah, now that I have Skyrim mod and everything seems to be pretty solid, I don't have to like mess with patches or anything anymore. It should be pretty good. Feel Kind's fire weaken? Oh no! No, we were so close. Oh my gosh, how freaking fast do you need to go up this hill? Oh my gosh. Wow. Where do I need to even bring Kind's Fire? Damn, you must need to use like Whirlwind Sprint like all the time then. I thought we were making great time. But I guess maybe the thing you have to do is make it so that you kill literally every single creature so that they don't interfere with you. Yeah, where do I actually even put Kind's Fire when I get up here? I don't know. Oh, huh. interesting. Excellent. All right then. Um, so yeah, I think we'll stop there for the day. Um, I don't actually know where to bring Kind's Fire, so even if I got it up here, I wouldn't even know where it went. Um, but we we did pretty good though. We we know. But yeah, I think I need to clear the mountain of all enemies before I can do that. That way I get the full six times speed out of long stride. Without long stride, I don't even know how that would be possible. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, but yeah, uh, today's a shorter stream because I got a tabletop game to go to. Uh, but yeah, um, we'll be back tomorrow. I'm going to try for five, but uh, it might be tight. I'm doing something right before the stream, so uh, might be 5.30, might be 6. Don't worry, I'll update the stream to let you know. Um, or I'll just surprise you at 5 o'clock. Uh, but yeah. So, um, I will see you guys then. Uh, we'll do some enchanting. Uh, we'll do one word wall quest. And then we'll do the Thieves Guild. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time. See you everybody.